Hey you guys, welcome back to another episode of Greedy Craft with ShitX582. So, getting back to what we were trying to do here, I was thinking today we'd get into Thomcraft. Um, but before we do that, I need to open up some bobbles because I want to use the um, Goggles of Truth for bobbles. And that would be, you have to put that on the head. And the rash sunglasses also need to go on the head. And I don't want to forget to not have sunglasses or some of my other bobbles on and just completely nullify like doing something weird. So we're going to do the uh, ink storm today. That's what we're going to get into. Ignore these. Um, that's the one we're going to do. Really, we could do everything Got the, except that we don't have the runes. We do have the ring of um, overclocking. We did get a stray and we were able to put him into the farm and get that. We need to get a shulker heart. I don't think that that's going to be too hard. Let's see here. Let's go. We need to get a lasso. There we go. All right, cool. And let's see what we got in these before we get on an adventure. Go. Nope. Okay. Warp delivery and another chest. Diamantine crystal block. And let's see what we get from this. Mm, platinum ingots. We got plenty of platinum though, so nothing too exciting out of any of that. Let's go ahead and put all this up. Boom. 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 Yeah, boom. Okay, so that being said, let's go see about. Oh, let's put this up too. Let's go see about getting us a shulker. Shouldn't be too hard at all. We'll go down here. And I've still been lazy and haven't like created a, uh, you know, stairwell or anything up to this yet, but you can still get here pretty easily. We're going to need Ender Pearl to go through that little portal thing. Okay. So you see, there is actually a waypoint out there because I have had this uh, episode, not this particular one, I think, but there has been an episode where something messed up, there's an audio or something, and I had to restart and refilm the, ad the uh, episode. And I found an Ender City out here during that episode, or during that recording that trashed. So as you can see up here, it doesn't look like I've been through anything, but I know there's an End City up here. So, and it's so cool if you look at the blood pool, it's just not going down. I'm holding down the uh, air signal now, and it doesn't even move my blood pool because the cows are just refilling it just as fast as the air signal can hold it. So that's great. Almost there. And when we get there, we're going to definitely put down a waystone. So... We just have an instant teleport back to it if we ever want to do some looting around in this area. There we go. And there it is, the little instant. It doesn't have a ship on it, but that's fine. Let's go to our book bag. Get out one of our raystones. Pop that down. In city. Alright. And let's see. Where's our lasso? There we go. Oh, got a shulker pearl. Hey, it dropped it without me having to kill it. That's pretty cool. Let's go back to the workstation. I guess I went into our backpack, the mining backpack, probably. Yeah, shulker pearl. Cool. Anyway, let's stick this guy in here. And while he's doing that, maybe we can get some of those runes together. Uh, home. Let's go sleep through this real quick. So, a couple of things too. So, Thumbcraft requires a lot of... Ooh, we probably need to... Yeah, it's full. Yeah, this dude's not doing anything because that thing is full. Let's upgrade this real quick. Uh, well. Need a piece of wood. Put that there. Oh, we can use the iron. That. There we go. Okay, so now it should be doing that. But we need paper. However, I don't know if we're going to actually use the sugar cane for paper. Because in actuality, even through the... When you're using the uh, bonsai, because you can use a bonsai tree for this as well. And we can make that 
regardless if we're going to use it much or not. Let's see. Oop, bonsai. There we go. So we should have everything for that. Yes, we do. And that's not a problem either. And we'll get an iron chest. I guess that's cool. We just put that. And we'll put the iron chest down. Put the bonsai hopper on top of it. And actually, it's sand. I think it's sand. You can't put snad, unfortunately, in the bonsai tree. There we go. So that'll create that. But it, it does still create it kind of slow. And really, there's a better way of getting paper. And also, since we're going to be getting into the Thomcraft, we should probably look for great wood. I think we have a sapling. Yeah, we do. Okay. So, let's break this down. Got plenty of what we need from that. And we will... We gotta get dirt. Dirt out of here. Boom and boom. So that will be creating some great wood logs for us. This is creating some hopper, but one of the ways you can get it is from a presser with some wood. And that's probably what we're going to do as far as how we get our, our paper. Because Thumbcraft, you start tearing through paper when you do Thumbcraft. So. Okay, do we have any runes in our, actually, in our actual system here? We do. Okay. Uh, sloth, mana. Uh, maybe we need to use earth. Pretty sure we need to use earth actually okay so which runes do we need for this summer spring winter autumn oh the four seasons okay so let's look at those let's put those up here actually let's put those in our bookmarks real quick we'll start doing those so i'll do autumn first three tree leaves spider eye fire and air Where there's fire and air plenty of tree leaves in here and the spider eye, it says, do we have, I want to say we have spider eye. Yeah, there's one. So I think that's all we need for that. Let's go ahead and build that. One, two, three. And it was this and this. Yeah. And we're going to need our wand of smacking the smack stuff. Which should be in our book bag. Yep. That's that. Let's see what the next one is. So that was autumn, winter, three snow, and a cake, or two snow, white wool, and a cake. Okay. It's not too hard. Snow. Two snow. Wool. And I know we have cake. Uh, we'll go ahead and complete this one real quick. Oop. Nice. Air fire, so we have the rune of autumn there. Let's put those all together. How about um, cake? Cake is right here. Cake, cool. So, two snow. And what else does it need? Water. I don't think we have water. Put this up. Yeah, we need to make the rune of water. So what does that take? Well, we already got the rune of autumn. Okay. Mana still, mana powder, fishing rod. Oh, we got plenty of sugar cane now. And bone mills in here. So it's the bone mill, sugar cane. We need... We have plenty of mana still in our system. I remember seeing that. Yes, yeah, we've got plenty of that stuff. So I'll actually just throw that in here. We need... Uh, the dust as well and it was a fishing rod yeah this thing boom cool so let's throw that was it sh no that's that's for the other thing like that here what and now lost what was it of water. Oh, mana still mana you get. Oh, and uh. Wait, we got the mana still mana you get. What am I missing? Oh, yeah. This thing. Boop. That should be pretty fast, actually, because that's a tier one one. Let's throw these 
into our system. That should be done rather quickly. There we go. Now they're in over water. And what was the other one? Earth? Yeah, Earth. Boom. Earth. Water. White wool. A couple of these things. And a cake. There we go. So that should be winter. Spring. Three saplings. Easy. Wheat right beside us. Yeah, we got this. Go get some three saplings. One, two, three. Should be about done. There we go. So we have renters there. What was it again? Water, fire. Three saplings and wheat. There's water. There's fire. There's wheat. Three saplings, fire, water. Nice. That'll take care of spring, summer, earth, air. Yeah, we got those too. Cool. Sand, a couple of sand. Oh, we have that in our. Yep. And slime, melon. Slime. Well, there's a melon. And here's a slime. Let's go ahead and get this out. So I'm putting these in here. Slime. Melon. Air. Earth. Earth. Air. Earth. And what was the last thing? Oh, two sand. There we go. That should be all the four we need. Autumn. Yeah, so there's the three. Winter, autumn, spring. And this will be the last one. So that wasn't that hard. That was pretty easy. Pretty easy. Boom, boom, cool. So these ones back in here that we don't need. Oop. We're gonna summer. We need, yeah, those four we need. Okay, and we'll just throw. That. And we also need some wood too, because I was gonna make the paper thing. Okay, so let's go back to our workstation here. Throw these into the system. Oh, we should have left that up there, but that's fine. Um, go in here. Oh, yeah, and let's see if we got a heart. Got a heart yet? Ah, yeah. In fact, you're gone. I don't know if we'll need anything else from you. But we got the heart. And overclocking. Yeah, we got one of those. We just combine those in here. Boom. Noise. Now this, maybe I'll make another one of these because these go free movement through cobwebs. And I don't think the ink storm prevents you from getting slowed in cobwebs. So we'll see. We'll see. That may be something that we uh, look into. Bring a free action. Cool. So we already got one of those. Next thing. Uh, I know we got that too. And we got. All, so I think the only thing left to do is this mixed dragon skull, which requires a black dragon skull, which requires a cracked one, which requires spectral slilt. Huh. I know we got dragon scales, right? Yeah. Right here. Let's grab that out too, just because we can. Um, but can we make the black dragon skill from that? No. Uh, we need this one, cracked one. So we need some more spectral silt. Shouldn't be too bad. I think we got plenty of extra, um, stuff we can use here. So we don't need these balloons. So that'll be two more. And so now we need one more. Uh, I don't think these count. Well, no, I want to use that one. I don't want to use that one. And I don't think you can use... No, we can... I mean, there's there's more in our... Uh, what you call it? Yeah, we don't need this. 
are these two, but we'll just go with that because we got our own mirror already. So not required. Oh, wait, there we go. There we go. Okay. So that being said, we put this here, surround it with this thing. Boom. All right. Now we can make this one. Oh, we just made that one. Now we can make this one. Right. Black dragon scale. Okay. And then we can make that from that. Okay. So there's the black dragon scale and the fruit. Throw this in here. Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Got some unity to weathering. So if we're trying to make this thing. Oh, Bazar. Okay, that's why. Uh, Bobbles this thing. Okay. Boom, boom. Now we go. Mix dragons go. Okay. Okay, cool. I was about to say, I was like, wait, we has everything. So apple here. Uh, glasses I know is on top. And vitamins, maybe? Oops. Maybe these two switch? Yeah, there we go. Ink charm. So that basically replaces um, a lot of those baubles we had there. So we've opened up a couple of bobble slots, which is cool. Being able to use more baubles is awesome. Um, but the main reason is we wanted to use the, the goggles of truth right here. So that we can see when we start doing Thomcraft, we're going to be able to see where our Cynthia is and everything. And I really want to see that. So that being said, I did see something interesting on Lin's Mano's playthrough. And you guys should check that out too if you haven't already. Probably already there. But he was going through and looking at some of the stuff from Thomcraft. And there was something about... Let's switch this out to Thomcraft... Managing Essentia, I think it was this one. This looks cool. I've never played with this, but it's basically managing Essentia in your ME network, from what I can, or um, AE network, Applied Energistics network, which that sounds pretty cool. And uh, I want to do that. So, a couple of things that we have to consider here, though, is we have to get our. A network into here, which actually isn't that hard, and I'll get into that. But we also have to start getting into this stuff. What kind of quest reward you got? Let's see. Uh, that's what more spectral silk, XP, and some millennium ingots. Okay. So if you look right here, when we open this up, we're actually using some of our infinity energy because it doesn't have it like we're close to our wireless network, so it uses the energy. Um, that can be fixed. We can do it where we can actually bring the wireless network into here and so it doesn't use that. And we'll also have access to our ME network, our, psh, ME, our applied energistics network in here. So that's what we're gonna work towards. Um, first off, make sure everything works that way. So going back to the workstation, before we get too far into uh, that, we are going to get into a little bit of compact machines. Because the way that you input export stuff into compact machines is through tunnels. Let's throw this stuff up here and here real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, yeah, we'll throw you in there too. What about you too? So just to clean our inventory a little bit. So in any case, let's throw this in here. Throw that in there. Because we are probably going to be getting into some inventory management. Um... Let's look at the tunnels. And the way it works is you can see, yeah, these things right here. So let's make one of these, not hard, compact wall, right? Yeah, redstone and hopper, and then throw some redstone at it. And we've already done the miniaturized things, but at compact, so we already have these, yep, cool. And we have some of these, so all we need is a hopper. And, ooh, throw that in there. And a and redstone. Right, so we put this here. The hopper on top of it. 
and we're going to now I remember it was issues right on how the distance to between we put these things because I remember it was quite a headache let me make sure it's gonna be a really small one okay opposite 7 11 or 15 so we just need seven spaces in between each which is three on each side okay shouldn't be a problem and I'm pretty sure we gotta like be up above it somehow let's do just some cobblestone so one two three and then boom and then we face it and we do that on each side one two three boom one two three boom one two three boom and it should be scanning nice okay and then we need redstone all around it okay and then we just throw redstone at it yeah and that should make us the tunnel and the other item that you need to do this is uh compatibility or hold on i think that's what it is uh if i can spell it right compatibility mm. Compad. You know what? Spelling is not my forte. It just isn't. Based induction, so that's capacity, so that's why it's catching that. It's none of these things. It looks sort of like these blocks. This thing right here. Compat. Compat. No. Compat. Ability. <laughs> okay, whatever. That's what we were trying to get. Um, we're going to need an ME interface, and I don't think we have both of those. No, we need a formation core. And we're going to need some logic processors. I know that. So let's get some gold out. Uh, first, let's make some gold real quick. Like a stack of this. And I think at least, yeah, 32 silicone or 30. I mean, I guess we don't need that much. We'll do like 16. We need some more silicone. Ooh. Hold on. Quartz. Do, 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 do. Let's do like a stack of nether quartz dust too. Ugh. Everything's full. Throw this stuff in here. Bloom, bloom, bloom. I heard something. You just stay. The heck? You are. You got some weird stuff on you, bro. I'm going to hit you. Yes, yes. Take this. Take this with you. Man, you got some armor. Now the armor's off, though. Nice. Eh, nothing really I want. Okay. So, I'm so distracted. What just happened? Oh, we were making this. That's right. Because we need to get some more of these going. Silicone. Yeah. Because we're going to need more of the logic processes, I'm sure. Go. Anyway, I need even more of those, but yeah, that, that'll get us started. Anyway, so let's do this into here. We're making this, which this, and we needed the formation core, right? Yeah. Uh, no, we don't want to use our pure ones. Thanks. Cool. Here we go. That's the ME interface. And compatibility. Make sure that's all good. Yep. All right. So now we got the compatibility adapter. And basically that's going to make it where we can ooh, cool. plug that into the compact machine. Oh, we didn't need to go that much. Uh, boom. Uh, let's put this one on. Okay. I don't think... Yeah, this is the compact machine. Okay, so we want to put the compatib compatibility adapter below that. Or anywhere, really. I just think it'll look best probably there. And we got to connect that to our ME network. Now, I don't remember if... If, it, if we can use this kind of cable or not. Let's see. 
Yeah, looks like it. Looks like it goes into it, so. Yeah, cool. So that is connected to our army network. And if we go into Thomcraft Wizardry and we put the tunnel down, we should be able to tell it. See right there in the tooltip it says it's it's down. You can right click and it goes up, you know, north. It tells you what it's connected to. So, and you just cycle through all of it to get that. But that's what we want to have connected there is the ME compatibility co adapter. And we'll need another one right here. So, let's do that. Um, workstation. So we're going to have to use another one of these. And yeah, we got plenty of that now. Throw that in there. Have you cooking up, how about? Sounds good to me. And because we're going to need... Oops, another one of these things. And now I need the annihilation core. There we go. And, oops, no, this one. Should be able to make that, yep. And another one of those, there we go. So, not hard, not difficult. And what that does is it allows us to connect to our AE network inside of here. So. If we were to make another crafting terminal, or let's do a wireless crafting terminal. How about, hold on, back to the workstation, uh, wireless access point maybe. Uh, wireless receiver, this thing, yeah, ME wireless access point. Shouldn't be hard to do that. Boom. Let's just take that hard. Flux crystal, yep. Cool. And any glass cable flux. Probably need some of this anyway. Which means we need some of this back. Okay. Now we can make this. All right. And calculation processor, which is pure, which is why we don't use our pure up. Probably need a couple of these too at some point. So I'll just go ahead and make more than one. Because that's what I'm bad at. It's like I could just make a lot of this stuff and just have it ready to go crafted for you guys. But, you know, maybe you want to see the process of me making this stuff too. So, okay. Wireless access point. And we'll take one of these glass cables with us too. So you'll notice if we uh, just throw our access point on this, so let's throw it, it should connect. Yeah, see, went online. So now when we use our thing in here, we're not using any infinite energy, which is awesome because it's actually connected to our storage network. So we can, you know, craft from our storage all the time. Now, going back into Thumbcraft. <clears throat> now we can sort of get deeper into Thomcraft because we have access to our storage network here without using any of our battery and stuff. And I'm just going to throw this living rock in there. And we don't need another tunnel at this point, so probably going to need that glass container later. But let's get into Thomcraft a bit. So Thomcraft, I want to see about this arcane crafting terminal. Um... I haven't really got into explaining Thomcraft too much, but obviously um, you have to complete researches before you can craft things. So for instance, that when we, we went in there and all it took was just to go in and look at it and we got it. For this, we're going to need two energistics theories. So I don't know if there's a block or something. I mean, obviously I know you can do your theories here, but this is where we're talking about the paper. Because every time you do a theory, it's like a few different pieces of paper every time we do that. So going back to the workstation, I would actually like to create, that should be fine, yep, a presser, because I don't have one, no, but that you can get, you can use to, it's not hard, yeah, so just a couple of pistons, and then boom, a presser. And this doesn't require power or anything. It's actually a pretty cool little block. And we can just put this really wherever. I mean, like, drop it, like, right here, right? And uh, one of the recipes for the presser is if you use wood, 
which we put a lot of wood in our system just a little while ago. So if we get like a stack of wood out and put that in there, it basically one wood is two paper. So we can have this going while we're in here doing what we need to do. And when we need more paper, we'll have more paper. So go back in here. We are going to be trying to do energistics theories. And it's kind of just RNG. You, you can't really control what you get. That's infusion and artifice. So we'll just scrap that theory. And we're looking to get energistics down here, which that didn't happen. And like I said, I don't know if there's a block. 15 infusion. I know like, you know, obviously this block is alchemy. So like if you click on that, you're going to get a bonus towards alchemy or it's more likely alchemy to show up. The only block I see in um, this Thomcraft is I think this thing and I don't I mean obviously you need to go through a few of these to get to that anyways so I don't know if that's gonna work we're just gonna have to get RNG on it right And now that we're getting into where we're getting a century, this is why we want to have the goggles. So let's get a couple of these. Um, it's going to take hide. I know it takes like four hide. Or leather. Bleh. And what else is it for the goggles? These things right here. Which is the whole point of why we got our bobbles in control. Uh, for those two brass and now we actually have a sentient here I don't our this in here if you look in the upper left hand you see I have like 176 I thought when I first created this stuff down here there's no this I don't know maybe it had to like create it over time but now we have this in here so that means we just like take this pick this up right and bring that into our thing all of those crystals went into our uh, dink null so we can actually just have this thing over here. Boom. And break out our crystals again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. Nice. And so this, we need alchemy. The brass thing. Uh, brass, two brass. Yeah. That should be fine. So now we should be able to create this. Nice. And so if we use this, pick it back up. There you go. Now when we look at something, we'll be able to tell if, or at least this stuff, we'll be able to tell what it has in it. So for instance, now that we're going to burn some silverwood logs, I probably have to do at least three. Um, let's get our coal out. And we'll do eight. And turn that into the tiny coal. Alright. And so you can see now. We see when something gets a sentient. Yeah we're creating a little bit of waste. Which hopefully digitizing this stuff. Will help us. You know. Or alleviate some of that for us. But we should be getting. Um, some arm up here too. Is what we're hoping for.
know, man. I just, uh... I'm trying to keep from having to, like... Have a whole bunch of these and a whole bunch of jars, which is how I'd usually do something. But when I saw that you could, like, get digital form of it, I was hoping that I wouldn't have to go through that. <laughs> but... Maybe we will. I may just end up scrapping this. But this is... Let's see, warded jar and avoid jars next up. So we'd have to do jars and labors, warded jars and labels for research. Really getting into Thomcraft here, okay. So it's probably an alchemy. Warded jars and labels are here. Oh, bro. That's a lot of them. Eventually we are going to have to do that, I'm sure, but... I mean, that's something that I can show you how it's done and sort of do it off camera because it's a whole bunch of those, which I guess is what I'll do right now. So, there's no Essentia in there. If we drop these two dreaded flesh in there, it'll tell us how much we get in there. So, boom. We have six of those things, which we only need one. So, if we throw... I think it's like six times four. I think there's 24 things in there, right? Yeah, six times four. If we throw this in here... All right, still got five and six, so we got to get our bucket, fill it back up. Careful, don't double click. And then, so we should have 11 more of these things. Went into our book bag, didn't it? 18 more of those things, okay. So let's throw this in here. Well, it still says there's one thing. Is it not letting me get it? <laughs> okay, interesting. But now we got the ex animus crystal, which is what we needed, right? Ex animus, yeah, and ignis, which is just one of these. Boop. Boom. Okay, on to that. Ah, maybe we can get this now. Nah, it's not going to happen. We'll definitely get that one, though. Oh, we got two. Okay. Three hours later. That's fine. And should be able to complete. We should definitely get one for that. Come on, come on. Nice. So, you should be able to complete this now. Boom. Research complete. So now we can create this. Doesn't look that bad, actually. Crafting table. Wood. And... Oh. Just get a stack of wood, just so we have a stack of wood in there. Okay. Uh, crafting station. I think we could take that. Yeah, move that into here. Because we need to magify this one with our magic dust. Cool. So that's that. And we need a... Terminal, I think. Let's throw that in there. Uh, crafting terminal. Because it was a... This thing, Arcane Crafting Terminal. Okay. Calculation processor and ME terminal. Well, ME terminal. I uh, need to have a formation core. So we have to go back. Workstation. And besides, ooh, good some lag. Come on. Winder in. There we go. Uh, got this going. Oh, we already had a calculation processor, so that's cool. So now all we need is this, which is a formation core. Do not want to use a pure one. It's always trying to use my pure ones. Boom. Formation car. No, we just... Oh, wait. I think I know what that is. We're using this, aren't we? <laughs> it's two different uh, crafting mechanisms that's doing that. So, there we go. Crafting terminal. All right, MV terminal done. And so now we should be able to go grab this thing out of here. Cool. And... Yes, maybe. Maybe, yes. Nice. Ooh, there's a quest for that? 
That's cool. Thumbcraft. Yeah. Nice. Some XP and a meta pet. Let's see what kind of pet we get. No fungus. Bone mill. Effect. Oh. Favorite food. Mushroom. And it is a bone mill effect. But, I mean, honestly. And it's actually still in the game. It eats mushrooms. I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad. Maybe... Maybe we uh we keeps this in our book bag. Anyway, looking back at this thing, so now I don't think if we just slap this on top of here. No, it's gotta it's gotta have a thing. So if that's the case, let's do this. Let's put this guy on the side, right? Bloop. Cause that looks alright. And then let's take out we need to have a cable of some sort. We got seven of these cables, and it should pull from our ME network. Nice. Yeah, device online. So that works that way. It does show the VIS, and I'm guessing this is for the crystals. Oops. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Yep. Five. So that will make crafting that stuff easier because we should be able to craft everything that we'd craft in here in this thing now. That's cool. So like if we want to do like a water jar, well, we couldn't because we can't do that. <laughs> but if we want to do like some goggles, right? Boom. Well, whoa, it just got rid of them. Maybe it only pulls what it needs. Uh, let's try to pull something real quick that we'd actually need something for just to test that. So, um, what can we craft? Recharge pedestal? Yeah, that requires that and that. So, arcane workbench? A recharge pedestal. This thing right here. So, if we, I don't know if we have everything we need for this, but if we were to do this, yeah, it does automatically pull this. What are we missing? Just a vis resonator, huh? So, that's cool. Um, yo, I am fine with that, honestly. But now we need to start looking at how are we going to get our Essentia into our ME network, which obviously, looking at the book here, uh, that's how you, that's the storage you need transportation so this is probably what we need to get to import it into the network digi essentia so we'd have to start doing uh either way i guess this makes sense to get some storage where it's not much use in moving it if you don't you can't store it right so that requires another energistic theory go back into our theories uh so this is a new one so I can gain 25 to 50 of the energistics, but I need to take some celestial notes. So celestial notes are kind of easy. They're not that hard. Um, what you do is you got to have some paper and some ink. Hold on. Can we just, yeah, we just need to fill that up real quick. Uh, nope. And this goes that Cool. And we need some paper, which... I'll take some of this paper. We also need to be like starting to create some more paper too, though, because, like I said, man, you'd be going through some paper when you're doing some thumb craft. So let's get uh, another stack of wood. We'll start putting that through the thing while we do this part through the presser. Boom. Okay. So the way that celestial ones do, and which ones do we need? I forgot already. We need. New and northern quadrant. So we need a new moon and northern quadrant. Um, obviously. But basically what you do is you take your little scanner from Thomcraft, which I left in there. Thom meter, I think it's called or something. Where'd I put it? I know we had one. Yeah, here we go. 
Double meter, yeah. I'll put that in there too. This Tempest in here. They're not some more inventory. But as long as you have a scribing tool and some paper in your inventory, when you use that thermometer towards the sky, you can get different things. Usually it's at night, but you can get one during the day, which is the sun. So, boom. Yeah, see so yeah, how we just got, we got solar, which is the sun one. So, most of it's done during the night, though. And it has to be, like, after 7 o'clock, I think. So when you wake up here, it still only be like 6 o'clock. If you look over here, 6 o'clock. Um, usually at 6.30 you can start doing night stuff. But I think for these, you have to wait until it's 7. And luckily, we're on a new moon phase as well. Which I believe is what we needed. So we'll be able to get the quadrants and that. We'll get all the quadrants anyway. Yeah. we just put our bucket up. We should be fine. Bucket in this. We should have enough inventory for doing all five. So now it's almost seven o'clock. Like to like go up in the air so I can see the moon better, because it is the moon that you want to look at, and all four cardinal directions too. So see if you're doing it right now. Nothing. Oh wait. Oh, I did do it. Okay, cool. So you go south. That north. So we got mm, east, north, west, and that one. So we got south yet. South, east, north, west. And then, yeah, so that's what you can get. And you can do that once a night, basically, and keep getting the same things. Or once. Should do it. Press and repine. So this, I guess, converts material back and forth. I don't know if we need that so much. I uh, probably need it for the other thing. So, oh, we got a couple of cores each. Cool. That's cool, I guess. All right. So this is what we we're working towards. We actually, do this stuff too now. Observation. Oh yeah. Digitalize, it's time to put that technology to work. I can now make sentient terminals. I'm not 100% sure what that is, but I do know I want to start moving stuff into the network. Oh, that's cool. I already had that too. So, ah, uh, we're going to have to get into the tubes. Ah, uh, dude. I knew we were going to have to start getting into that soon. What was it? Uh, it should be alchemy. Yeah, so that's locked behind that too. So.
think we're back. I think we got everything now. Boom. Took a lot of uh, a lot of work here, but we did end up picking everything up. Some of it, you know, a lot of it we actually had though, so it's only like 20 minutes worth of work to do this, I think. But let's get this complete. Bloom. And we already have Essentia Smelting ready. Cool. <laughs> so warded jars is a thing we can do. Alright, now we need vials of stuff to do the tubes. There we go. That should complete that. Boom. Nice. Research completed tubes. So, that being said. Let's throw this stuff in here. Alright. And this stuff in here. Go back into this and go into this one now. So we have the ability to make these essentia tubes now. So let's do that. So we'll come back in here. Should be able to do this now. A couple of these, right? Yep, essentia tubes. Boom. That being said, let's clear this out real quick. Let's go back into this. So import bus, export bus. We want to do an import bus first. This thing. Import bus. Just a test. Yo, I know that we got a couple of those things. I'm not sure which one it needs. But you go get one. Okay. So there's the import bus. And we have more tubes. So I'm thinking now that we have the ability to store stuff, right? And probably a good one to do first is gonna be this. This right here. Okay, so if we have this here and we have an import bus, since you import bus there, and then connect that here to this guy somehow. Oh, probably just gonna need our regular cables. Yeah, it looks like it's it's going in. It's happening. Things are happening. If we go and look at this. Now this is being used. One of one type. 16. Okay, okay. Do we have this chunk loaded? I forgot. Let me chunk load this thing real quick. So it drained all of it from there. So can we see how much essentia we have? If we do at thumb. Maybe we can't see it until we get that monitor. Glass file. There's the glass files. Grab that real quick. So maybe that's why we need that monitor. But that's pretty cool. It did definitely store it in there. And we had like a decent amount. How much? 16 bytes used. So if we go back into a thumb craftery. Right, right. And then we use. This has two. What's the next, another one that we have a decent amount of? We have 11 a comma. So if we do... Boom, right? Oh, shoot. Boom. So we'll take that stuff out. Put it into our network. So it used 12, and now it's got 11 more. Yeah, that's nice, dude. It's nice. That's going to be so nice. And then I'm guessing an export bus you would put and tell it what kind you want. But how would you tell it what kind you want? So let's do an export bus real quick. Three hours later. We have this here. 
Nice, so that got that in there. So if we put that there and connect this to the network. Uh-huh. Getting it out of the network. Boy, this is going to be something good. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. We have now gotten to the point where we can input and export Essentia into our network in a digitized format, which is really going to help us as far as like not having to mess with the tubes and stuff like that that we are usually used to messing with in Thomcraft. Um, it looks like we got a little bit of a Thomcraft start set up. Uh, hope you guys learned something, enjoyed it. Uh, go ahead and leave a like and comment or subscribe if you want to motivate me to do these faster. And as always, have a good day.